Now, another question is which of the following is not a class equation of a group? The fourth options are given. Now, since order of g equal to order of z g, and this is equal to plus uh, i say i one to n um, plus x i where x i not belongs to z g and this can be written as 1 plus 1 plus dot 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 1 and this is z g times plus and order of c x i can be written as 1 to n x i not belongs to z g and this is equal to order of index of g of c x i where c of x i is a centralizer element of x i and this can be written as 1 plus 1 dot dot 1 and this is z g time summations i 1 to n order of g i order of c of x i and this and this is hold for and this is come from the class equation of finite group now we look at look at the options the first option is 10 equal to 1 plus 4 plus 5 now 4 is not a divisor of 10 so from the class equations we see that there exists some x belongs to z but xi not belongs to z z such that uh, such that 4 equal to some class of and this belongs to some order 4 equal to some order of class x i and this is generally order of g order of centralizer of x i and since centralizer of x i is a subgroup of a finite group g so order of centralizer of x i divide the order of g by Lagrange's theorem mm, as by Lagrange's theorem order of c of x i divide order of g but from this we see that order of c x i equal to order of g by 4 which is not hold since 4 is not divisor of 10 because 4 is not divisor of 10 so there, there, there exist so the class equation is not exist this class equation does not exist now we see the second option the second option is 4 equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 and here we use a simple theorem that every group of order less than equal to 6 is commutative so if 4 is a group and since order of 4 since 4 is less than 6 so for in every group of order 4 is commutative group and since uh, this group is commutative so this is not a class equation because for a commutative group the class equation becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 now we look out so the option a false b false now we look the third option third option is uh, 10 equal to 1 plus 2 plus 7 and this is not also a class equation because 7 is not a divisor of 10 uh, from the previous case from the previous case here uh, we say that this is not a class equation the fourth option is 10 equal to 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 and you see that every every ele every element is a divisor of 10 so this is a class equation actually this is a class equation of a group d5 this is a class equation of this group d5 so the right option is so the right option is d and a b c are false options thank you following is a class equation of a group and the equation of now the three equation are given and the question is which of this following is a correct class equation first of all if we take the first one then 10 equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5 now from the statement what is the class equation if uh, 
order of g equal to n then order of g can be written as 1 plus 1 plus dot 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 1 plus summations say class of order of class of xi where xi not belongs to zc and this equal to i want to say n and this is class of zz and summation i want to n and this all then this all one belongs to zz and so this is class of xi and xi not belongs to zz now now from the first equations we see that 10 equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to order of zg and this imply and this imply order of zg equal to 3 which is not possible because if order of zg equal to 3 and by Lagrange theorem every subgroup of a finite group is, can divide its order that means order of zg divides the order of g that means 3 divide 10 which is not possible which is not possible so the first options so the first option is not true now we check the second options the second options became the second option is 10 equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 now now see the element 3 and 4 8 now it 3 belongs to some class of xi and this class of xi is also a also from and class of xi equal to index z of centralizer element of xi for some for some xi belongs to z now now if 3 belongs to class of xi that means index g index c of xi then from then we see that the there are three distinct left coset in g of cxi that means centralizer of xi and this is not true since 3 is not divide 10 because the centralizer element is also a subgroup and this divide and this is generally c of xi and this is not true since c of xi since c of xi divide the order of g that sorry order of c of xi divide the order of g by lagrange theorem so and 3 does not divide 10 so this is not also a class equation so of order of a group of order train now we see the third options the third option is 10 equal to 1 plus 1 plus dot dot 1 10 times and if g be a commutative group then all element belongs to the center of g if g be a commutative then all x belongs to c this imply x belongs to z of z so for a commutative group this equation can hold so the options c is true